Well, some big announcements out of the state of Massachusetts today. The COVID state of emergency has officially ended and the state unveiled a new effort to get people vaccinated. Good evening. I'm Mike Montecalvo and I'm Shannon Heggie. Governor Charlie Baker has announced a big incentive to get the vaccine called the Mass Vax Millions Giveaway. 12 News reporter Brittany Schaefer joins us live now with the details on what's up for grabs. Brittany. Well, Mike Shannon, the state of emergency ended at midnight after 462 days. Also announced starting in July, fully vaccinated residents could win a million dollars. Mayor Paul Coogan is hoping the Vax Millions giveaway will help increase vaccinations in Fall River. I hope somebody in Fall River wins the million dollars. That would be the best way to do it. I'm all for it. Governor Charlie Baker is hoping the lottery will encourage more people to get the shot. Massachusetts residents who are fully vaccinated in the state can enter. Baker says five people ages 18 and older will win a million dollars. Another five people ages 12 to 17 will win a $300,000 college scholarship. Other states that have launched similar programs like Ohio, where I had a long conversation with Governor DeWine, did see a significant increase in vaccine signups after they put this program in place. It's a new incentive in Fall River, among many others. Coogan tells me the city is offering grocery store gift cards and are giving shots at various events, parks, and in homes. He tells me just 40% of adult residents are fully vaccinated. We're probably towards the bottom of the communities. It's like been a real struggle to get people to go out and get vaccinated. People in Fall River are, um, just seem reluctant. We've we've made every effort we can. Today also marking the end of the state of emergency in Massachusetts after 462 days. Coogan also signed the order ending the city state of emergency. Baker calling today a turning point in the fight against COVID-19. We've made it through the past 16 months because of the resiliency, kindness, creativity, imagination, and commitment that the people of Massachusetts made. Meanwhile, in Rhode Island, the governor's office today tells me that the state is going to continue looking into the idea of incentives. Governor Dan McKee did extend the state of emergency in Rhode Island to July 9th. For now, live in Fall River, I'm Brittany Schaefer, 12 News. How to get even more people to roll up their sleeves, Massachusetts is teaming up with the state lottery. 12 News reporter Brittany Schaefer joins us now live to tell us about that and the end of Massachusetts state of emergency. Brittany. Well, Mike Shannon, Governor Charlie Baker declared the state of emergency back on March 10th of 2020. He says the state since then has made significant progress, but today the state announcing a new initiative to get even more people vaccinated. To get vaccinated. After 462 days, Massachusetts state of emergency is over. A turning point here in Massachusetts in the fight against COVID. Governor Charlie Baker says this was made possible due to people getting vaccinated, and now the Bay State is launching a lottery in an effort to reach people who have not gotten a shot. The vaccine is free, and it now could be your ticket to winning $1 million. Registration for the Mass Vax Millions giveaway begins on July 1st for Massachusetts residents who were fully vaccinated in the state. Baker says five people ages 18 and older will win a million dollars. Another five people ages 12 to 17 will win a $300,000 college scholarship. Other states that have launched similar programs did see a significant increase in vaccine signups after they put this program in place. Here's another reason for you. Come forward, protect yourself, your friends, your coworkers, and your neighbors. As a result of the state of emergency lifted, pandemic policies like increased outdoor dining spaces, cocktails to go, and public meetings held remotely are also ending. Governor Charlie Baker signed legislation to extend those policies until later this year, but Monday, lawmakers struggled to come to an agreement. City halls and other city buildings will be returning to normal business hours. This includes New Bedford's public libraries, which have been closed for 16 months. We're ready to go, ready to welcome everybody back. Staff is excited to have the activity of people in the building again, the hum and the energy of people. This is a big building and it has been eerily quiet for too long. And meanwhile, in Rhode Island, the governor's office tells me the state is continuing to explore incentive ideas. Now, Governor Dan McKee did extend the state of emergency in Rhode Island to July 9th. In Fall River, I'm Brittany Schaefer, 12 News.